Dude, I missed two of the most important pieces of information. CB radio. And the snack cubby. Snack cubby. And you got this horn. And then this one. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Phone YouTube channel. Oh, frick, dude. I'm so excited. You know, there's not a lot of things that get me fired up besides bleachers, golden retrievers, which we got one crossing the screen now. Race cars and motorhomes, dude. Whoo! So guys, before we give you a full tour of this, and then we actually go on a drive and tow something very heavy, which we have planned for today's video, let me tell you a little bit about what sits behind me. This is a 2021 Renegade Toter Home. And you guys saw our motorhome before we had a Class A motorhome diesel pusher, as they're called. Shout out to my girl, Monica. Sold her for a great price, and we had to upgrade. Now, I know what you're thinking. Cleater, that thing looks kind of small. There's not a bunch of living space. It's only a 17-foot box of living space. But your boy, Jack Stan, is holding the camera, and I, we'd prefer to bring more race cars and have less space to live. The plan is, when this is all said and done, we're going to have a four-car trailer hooked up to this puppy. We'll be able to take four race cars wherever we want to go. But listen, this isn't just any ordinary motorhome. This is actually just a semi with living quarters inside this thing literally has a 15.6 liter engine it is a 950 cubic inch inline six cylinder diesel it is the largest most powerful diesel engine detroit makes it makes over 2,000 foot pounds of torque under 1000 rpms right, it's a dd16 engine fully automatic transmission this is the most serious truck i have ever driven personally and I can tell you right now, it can literally tow anything. It is a semi with a massive engine and transmission. And then you see this, we can sleep in there. So guys, welcome to the channel, the new Freightliner. It's called a Renegade, but you know, like always, we don't have a name for it. And the plan is after we give you a short tour of this thing, we're going to go pick up Beast, the mud truck out of the Freedom Factory and tow it back here because there's a big mud bog event going down this weekend. And then we're going to use this thing to tow it out there. And then we got Cleese and Cars Houston next weekend so me and your boy jackson we're gonna be driving all the way to houston in this puppy i am so fired up we ordered this thing about six months ago she's finally here could not be happier with her dude it's amazing so jackson come on over let's show him a tour dude you gonna miss monica uh, i should have a tear when he said dude, she was sold i know dude r.i.p monica a lot of good races met a lot of cool people and had a lot of you know good races so that you know. a lot of good times in monica the rv but dude this thing is absolutely a massive gigantic unit so gotta name him i know i think it's a guy it's, it's, it's gotta be a dude name all right i'm just gonna start it up and we'll start with the outside tour let's get the engine going all right so I, I just love all the nice amenities this thing has battery switch right there it just makes it convenient dust key in her power her up here wait for it <laughs> so just a quick glance at the dash area this thing has some crazy electronics in it not only does it have driving assistance like you see on here this thing has collision avoidance it actually imitates rumble strips in the speakers when you're going off the road you got a camera system up here you can see on the tablet over here if i turn on my blinker my right blinker check this out it's gonna pull up the camera on the side of the truck and you know, to keep yourself from getting distracted, you can hand this off to your passenger and they can go ahead and, uh, you know, throw in your maps, your truck mapping, things like that. Yeah, air up here, water temps, oil pressure, all that good stuff. Unfortunately, there's a DEF gauge. We're not going to talk about that. You can adjust the height on this thing. You can lock both of your axles. You got a trailer camera. You got trailer air systems like this. So much insane technology in just this part that's going to be keeping us safe while we're on the road. You know, and I know a lot of people say, oh, it's more stuff to go wrong. These things are pretty dialed in. I've driven her, and you guys are gonna go for a ride here in a little bit, but let's finish the outside tour. Let's go straight to the good, dude. Show them the DD-16. Give her a yank, brother. <laughs> that is so freaking cool. Let's go right to the turn, see, dude. Woo! Massive unit, dude. So, like I said before, a DD-16, guys, 600 horsepower, over 2,000 foot-pounds of torque. Yeah, a little dirty. We ran into a storm on our way back with it. All you got to do, push it over. Goes right down on its own. All right, so as we walk around this massive beast, let's go back here. As you can see, we got three exhaust tips. Well, 
that's because on board we got the big engine up front we've got the generator which is right behind this door got the Onan Cummins generator in the back and then this guy right here is actually for our diesel electric water heater that's on board so no propane on this puppy this thing runs purely on diesel for the water heater everything else on board generator and the engine up front and then we did go with the twin screw model just a little bit more stable having two axles in the rear because our new trailer is going to be extremely heavy big dog trailer big dog trailer all right so you got a plug there on the side for shore power you come back here it's got the bumper style hitch on here for bumper pull trailers and then up here you've got the gooseneck trailer and then you can actually open this up switch this out run a fifth wheel plate or a semi plate got some plugs here those are for the air brakes up there endless endless it really does not stop does not stop over here got your fresh water tank back there got your aqua hot that's our diesel electric water heater got some spare tile and then a couple other things in here just to run in the aqua hot and then up here you've got some spare airlines so you can fill up tires using the trucks on board air some power inverters extension cords plugging it into shore power things like that and now before we go into the truck i'm going to shut down the main engine and we're going to put out the slide because this entire side of the rv slides out to give you more room inside obviously they had to have air ride in both the driver and passenger seat all right take them around the other side i'll put the slide out for you guys it's the little things that can excite you Go check out the box all opened up now. Right. Now, before you come inside, well, this is a butt weight. There's more moments. Freaking awning. Dude, look at the LED lights already I ripping know, on dude. that unit. No, they don't hold on. Remember when Monica awnings worked? Put them out for the first time. Well, then the they broke. The day we bought it, the awnings and Monica worked. It's only the day we bought yeah. it. Look, they work. They go out, go to put them in. Yeah. Nothing. Right. <laughs> armless awning system so there's no beams that go from the corners down everyone hits their heads on those this one does not have those supports it's all self-supported you can change the sensitivity so if it sees wind it it bring itself in so, yeah if we're in the lanes and there's crazy wind gusts coming through it'll actually just self-retract like that one time we lost our tent in world yeah, cup exactly. <laughs> all right now to take you inside, we're going to skip some of this stuff and come back to it because I want to just give you the full experience as you walk in. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. I really should have cleaned up, dude. Dude, it just looks so nice in here. All right, let me clean Let me clean up a little bit. Sorry we didn't prepare as much. <laughs> so obviously, you guys can tell in here this is much smaller than the older RV. But the problem that we had with the old RV is that James and when we rode with Coop, he, they had to get their beds out every day and then put them all away when the day started. It was just kind of annoying. This way, we've got bunk beds and these are actually just an inch taller than me so I can fit in them. And then you can use them, keep all your stuff in here. If you don't gotta clean up in the morning, you can just kind of throw all your stuff in there and be done. You got a queen bed up here. You can see the ladder is under here, but we're not gonna need that where we're going. And then this bed also folds out into a queen size bed. So you'll have, you know, you can put two guys there, two guys there if you're really pushing it guy there guy there and then a blow up mattress down here so You're feeling sporty on a spoon with your buddy <laughs> if you really if you really got to pack it down for a big trip we could totally do it yeah. but uh so at the end of the day it does hold the same amount of people as our old 40 foot rv but this way we can have a smaller area have a bigger trailer that's the key so we do have two ac units just like the old one but it is a smaller area so it's so it should cool down a little bit faster and the good news is we have this massive power inverter on board so the Detroit engine up front can actually run the power inverter and we can actually run our 120 volt stuff without even having the generator on while we're driving. Other stuff that's different than Monica, you can see we have a full sized microwave and we actually have a full size fridge. So if this fridge fails, we can just go to Home Depot and buy a new one versus having one of those special RV propane powered fridges that we constantly had issues with. This is the normal real deal fridge. You can grab them from Home Depot if you need it. Pop it open, dude. She's got everything. This is actually the same size fridge that's in my house. Twin cooling. Twin cooling, dude. Got your ice maker in there, dude. You guys know the deal. Lock that up. So we have to get induction pans. So fancy pans, like magnetic. Yeah. <laughs> so if we get normal pans, it will not work. No. <laughs> we gotta remember yeah. that before we go on a trip. Got your TV here, sound bar there. 
like I said, the bed up here. Pretty nice big bed with a fan there. And then the best part ever about this sucker. The mirror. Besides that mirror. <laughs> is it has a freaking full-size shower. I was so sick of being in a shower like this. It's trickling at your eyeball. Our old shower head was so low. The shower was so small. You know, you're stuffed in there. Check this out. Freaking full-sized shower. Let me click on the lights. That is the real deal. And then look, that shower head's taller than me, dude. So we'll pop this baby open. That is a way bigger shower than what we were dealing with before. Got a full-size toilet, which is nice. Just all around a much better setup for us. The ceilings are a little bit higher. You got your fan in here. You got your sunlight. And back behind here, then you can store some extra stuff back in there. And then up here, you have stuff for the digital antenna, things like that for the TV. You can actually put a Wi-Fi hotspot in this thing. Stuff that we don't really need, we'll never use. Obviously, some stuff for under the sink, things like that. And then we had to get our dog bowls ready. Got some sheets, things like that, getting ready for our trip this weekend. That's gonna do it for the interior though, right? I mean, this is just pretty neat from within the bunks. Yeah. That's got all the... Oh yeah, click on the lights. Your yeah, own dude. Lights, Individual your own lights. Shot, your own charger and all that stuff yeah. in each bunk. I mean, just being a newer unit than Monica was, everything's like up to date. I know. And I used to hate when like you'd put a plug in Monica's outlet and then you pull it, the whole outlet starts to come out. Yeah, like wiggles. This stuff is so solid and it's just so nicely built. You got the two USBs, you got the plug. Each person has their own individual lights for in here. You can just pull those shades closed and you're good to go. But, you know, one of the reasons we wanted to downsize is we'd go on these trips. We'd be gone for a week. We'd come back. There would be crap everywhere in the RV. There was just so much space to shove stuff in corners. This thing, it's small and efficient. You pack light, you use what you can, and you freaking race. So, yep, and most importantly, it's made to tow. tow. So All instead of towing a 20,000 pound trailer with an rv it's rated to tow ten thousand pounds we're towing with something that's rated to tow all of it 40 or fifty thousand pounds like it's nothing you know it got a little sketchy towing with monica and the big heavy trailer full of merchant cars this thing's gonna have absolutely no issue we're talking we'll have 10 tires on the ground it's gonna be serious so in here guys you got the slide out you got some of your water heaters things like that aqua hot control you got your tanks down here a little fire extinguisher but go ahead and bring in the slide That's smooth, dude. So smooth. It's not like the old. It be like sound like it's eating itself. I know, dude. Taking it out. Monica, we had to have the jacks just right or the uh, slides. The slides would seize, yeah. Drag the back of the seats. That's it. You're done. Boom. Well, let's fire up the generator. Give her a quick run. That exhaust on the other side. Just like dude. that. So quiet and smooth. You can barely tell it's running. All right. Look at that, dude. Nice stainless backsplash. Freaking beautiful. All right, let's go for a rip. We're heading to the Freedom Factory. Dude, I missed two of the most important pieces of information. CB radio. And snack cubby. Snack cubby. And you got this horn. And then this one. <laughs> Doubled up on the horn. All right, guys. First thing, we're stopping a Steel Jage's gooseneck trailer. Dude, he has a lot of trucks here. Yeah. Place is popping off. Yeah. Been wondering. Been wondering why he's off YouTube lately, dude. He's grinding. Jage Diesel and 4x4 getting that business done. Come on back. All right. There we go. What do you think, buddy? Yeah, she's clean. Ready to rip her this weekend? I'm ready. First bog? I haven't seen this thing out of your garage. Pretty sick. I know. I don't let you near anything, dude. Yeah, Gooseneck life. I'm sure you guys are wondering why didn't we get just a full blown motor coach to where you bumper pull? Well, if you want to tow goosenecks like this or our wedge, now you can with ease. Pretty easy to hook it up. It's actually easier than a truck. It's just hooked up and ready to go. Dude, what's going on with that? I, I was asking not, him. This thing just. <laughs> Yeah, this trailer is tweaked, dude. It's a little bit bent. A little bit of weight on it, tweaked. I'm very happy with it. <laughs> Tough break. Not a good thing. You need it, dude. Listen, I'll buy this one for 200 bucks. <laughs> All right. Uh, 
What an absolute unit this thing is. There she goes. <laughs> so as we pull out, you guys just listen to how this thing shifts. It's a semi, okay? <laughs> That's a semi, dude. We're in ninth gear, is that what it says? Yeah, we're in ninth gear already. <laughs> dude, it shifts. It shifts at 2,000 RPM. We're in tenth gear, eleventh gear now. <laughs> it's that torque. Absolute. <laughs> It's like you're expecting it to have to RPM more, but it's like, no, next gear, next oh, gear, it's next so gear. so cool, dude. It's so cool. It's... You got to do them both Hold at the on. same time. <laughs> breaker, breaker, salt shaker, cleaner running down the road. We'll catch you on 9 to 5. Oh, oh. hear that? Oh. Rumble strip <laughs> indicator. Yeah. Stay in your lane is yeah, what it's dude. telling you. I start going towards the middle. <laughs> Ready? Get in your lane. So the best part is about that system is you can't turn it off. No. So although it's going to annoy the hell out of us and it tells you when you're following too closely, it's going to keep us safe. Even though it's going to annoy us, it's going to keep us safe. So we just have to remember that. And then the other thing, well, you can actually turn it off for 10 minutes at a time. But I'm gonna undo that button so that we all use it because it's there to keep us safer. Right? I think the only person that's gonna hit that button a thousand times in a row for their ten minutes at a time is gonna be you. What? <laughs> I didn't use. I was like, actually, like it kind of makes you just drive better. Like you start yeah. to not merge, and then, you know, and then you can see over there, like look, show yeah. that glowing. So it's got. If someone's in your blind spot, that light here. Maybe if I go over the shoulder. There it is. That'll that's a warning light for if someone's in your blind spot, which is just just technology, man. Then you set your driving distance based on time on the dash. So I want to have 10 seconds before I run into the back of this guy, you know. So you can set up the timing based on that, and then it does have front radar, and it'll actually dial in the cruise control. So you can set the cruise control at say 75 mile an hour. And if people start slowing down in front of you, the whole truck automatically starts to slow down to the point where it'll come to a complete stop if, if desired. And then down here, you can see this came with trailer brakes because it's meant to tell. We had to have trailer brakes installed on the old RV, no big deal, but it's just one of those things, man. Like this thing is so set up to tow, it comes with everything you need. Air brakes, electric, electric trailer brakes. It's designed for towing and it's designed for long distance driving. Look at how stable it is. I have to move the steering wheel maybe an eighth of an inch to keep it on the road. Well, Monica, it's she was little, all over the place. It's a little different when you're in a 40-foot RV that has way too much weight hooked to the hitch. It's different, man. I'm telling you. Like, Modern-day technology no. mixed with science, no. a little bit of freedom, exactly. and all the foot pounds. And I got my uh, air seat on there. Oh, on bag. You're over there on bags. Sick. And then uh, James has air ride under his seat, too. So. And then the actual back of the RV is completely on air ride. So yeah. Dialed unit. Before we get to the truck and all that, you know, load that. I just want to tell you guys, you know, you guys are the reason we were able to get something like this. Obviously, we love Monica, but we had to step up our game in terms of towing, and this was a huge step for us. And this is a huge investment for the business, you know. A lot of what we do, the cleanest in cars, the races, things on the road, it, you know, we're, we're gone from home for weeks at a time. Being in something like this is freaking amazing, and you guys made that possible, so thank you very much. But here at the Freedom Factory, let's load up, beast, and head back to JH. We've arrived on scene. We are here. What's up, Cletus? What a beautiful sight, dude. I said the only disappointing thing I had to show today was the fact that there's a death gauge. Tough break on that. They say you drive them hard though and you won't have any issues with the def system. Tight turns, eh, no big deal. Plenty of clearance on the gooseneck. I'm zooming in while you're running, so it makes you look cool.
So the world wants to know that, uh, is it true that you bought a two-door long bed because you were inspired by white trash? It 100% had to have it once I saw white trash ripping those burnouts. You know, the world wants to know, are we going to tug them off? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's just an excuse Stay for tuned. you to kill another set of tires, but I'm cool with it. Our boy Crispy throwing some stickers on for us, dude. And we also got the FFs on the mud truck. Clean, dude. Dude, so clean, man. You fired up? Finally use it? I can't wait for that trailer. Oh, I know. Dude. You're more about the trailer. I'm like the motorhome guy. Race car trailer, we're going racing. Yeah, you equip it with all your tools and oh, yeah. fluff her up on the inside. <laughs> got my renter rod that stays south. Yeah, got my hot rod about to be done. I know, dude. You're getting serious. So, the trailer is roughly a month out. We were hoping to have it for pleasing cars. We ordered that thing right when I ordered this, but uh, big investment. But uh, freaking A, we're doing it right. It's gonna all pay off. <laughs> So gnarly, man. All right, guys, so last but not least, I want to show you the trailer. I want to show you the engine brake, the Jake brake, and how serious this thing is. So, use the Drake, use the Jake brake, and you can actually manually shift with this, too. This is how you select your gears and everything. It has three settings for the Jake brake, but I'll go straight to the full rip one, and you guys can hear it for yourself. So, we're not going really that fast. But I'll take it up to 30, click it all the way down, that's the highest level one. Shed in speed, dude. That's no brakes. It's stopping like you're on the brakes. It's crazy. It's wild. So, it's nice because, you know, say you don't have a full load, you don't need to have your Jake brake on full rip. So you can just choose, select, you know, you can select the first level or you can go all the way to the full rip Jake brake. Pretty fancy stuff out here. And modern technology with yeah. the science. So guys, if any of you are going out mud this weekend at Plan Bamboo or you're going to police and cars Houston, you'll get to see the new toter home. We'll definitely have to come up with a good name for him. I'm real proud of uh, this thing, man. It's just so freaking cool. And uh, like I said earlier, thank you guys for making this all possible. You know, we love sharing cool stuff with us like you. And this is just such a cool piece of equipment. I mean, this is a massive, amazing piece of equipment for the channel. So. Thanks again. Drop name ideas below. Thanks for watching the video. We'll freaking see you later. On the road again. On the road.